a number for Wednesday, kids. Join me as we learn how to count, solve, and enjoy math. This is Teacher Jurel, and welcome to our class. Multiplication is one of the four fundamental operations on numbers. Knowing how to perform this operation on whole numbers allows you to work with numbers as used in daily life as well as to solve problems involving numbers. For today's session, we will talk about solving word problems involving multiplication. Are you ready, kids? Come on, and let us begin our number four journey. Before we proceed to our discussion for today, I would like to invite you all to a magical learning experience with Vibol's Happy Homeschool program. You may enroll in math standalone classes for grades 1 to 10. Check the link in the description to learn how. As we learn how to solve word problems involving money, we will answer these two questions. First, what are the keywords to remember in multiplication? Second, what are the steps in solving word problems? Are you ready to answer these questions? Let's go! Let's review multiplication. Multiplication is used in finding the total number of items in equal groups. How about the parts of a multiplication sentence? The number taken or multiplied is called the multiplicand, while the number denoting how many times the multiplicand is taken is called the multiplier. Lastly, the answer in multiplication is called a product. Now, let's review the words or phrases that imply multiplication. Repeat after me as I read them one by one. Twice, times, groups of, double, per, each, equal groups, multiply, all together. Do you know that these keywords will help you in choosing which operation to perform in solving a word problem? Now, can you find the keywords that imply multiplication in this set of word problems? Let's try! Let's read the word problem together. In a run for the environment event, a total of 106 children registered. If each child paid 75 pesos for registration fee, how much is the total collected fee? What is the multiplication keyword in this word problem? Great! It's each. Now, let's try this word problem. There are 114 kilograms of water bottles collected after the family day event. If these bottles were sold to a recycling center at 38 pesos per kilogram, how much was collected from the water bottle sold? What is the multiplication keyword in this word problem? Good job! It's per. Now that we know the keywords implying multiplication in a word problem, we can now start solving. Are you ready? Let's start! Here are the steps to remember in solving a word problem. Step 1. Identify the given. Step 2. Identify what is asked. Step 3. Formulate the number sentence. Step 4. Solve the number sentence. And step 5. Write the final answer. Now, Let's apply these steps in solving the word problems earlier. In a run for the environment event, a total of 106 children registered. If each child paid 75 pesos for registration fee, how much is the total collected fee? For step 1, 
Identify the given. Identify the given by listing down all the given information, particularly the numbers, amount, or quantity in the problem. 106 children registered in the event. The registration fee costs 75 pesos each. For step 2, let's identify what is asked. The problem is asking for the total collected fee of 106 children registered in the event. Can you spot the keyword used in this question? Awesome! The keyword used is each. Remember that each is a keyword for multiplication. That means the operation that we will use in this word problem is multiplication. For step 3, let's formulate the number sentence. To find the total collected fee, we must multiply the number of children registered and the cost of the registration fee. Our equation will be 106 times 75 pesos equals N, where N represents the total collected fee. For step 4, let's solve the number sentence. Take note to multiply the digits starting with the least to the largest place value or right to left. Make sure the digits are in the correct place values. Regroup as needed. 5 times 6 equals 30. We write 0 in the 1's place and carry 3 in the 10's column. 5 times 0 equals 0, plus 3 equals 3. 5 times 1 equals 5. Remember, since we are multiplying 106 by 70 and not just 7, we need to write 0 in the 1's column. 7 times 6 equals 42. We write 2 in the 10's column and carry 4 in the tens place. 7 times 0 equals 0, plus 4 equals 4. 7 times 1 equals 7. Now, add the partial products. 0 plus 0 equals 0. 3 plus 2 equals 5. 5 plus 4 equals 9. Then, we simply bring down 7. 106 times 75 equals 7,950. Lastly, for step 5, write the final answer. Write the required unit in the final answer, especially if the problem is asking for the amount of money. Therefore, the total collected fee for the run for the environment event is 7,950 pesos. Good job! Now, let's try another example. Let's read the word problem together. There are 114 kilograms of water bottles collected after the family day event. If these bottles were sold to a recycling center at 38 pesos per kilogram, how much was collected from the water bottle sold? For step 1, let's identify the given. 114 kilograms of water bottles were collected. The price per kilogram of water bottles sold is 38 pesos. For step 2, Let's identify what is asked. The problem is asking for the total money collected if the bottles were sold to a recycling center at 38 pesos per kilogram. Can you spot the keyword used in this question? Fantastic! The keyword used is per. Remember that per is a keyword for multiplication.
That means the operation that we will use in this word problem is multiplication. For step 3, let's formulate the number sentence. To find the total money collected, our equation will be 114 times 38 pesos is equal to N, where N represents the total money collected. For step 4, let's solve the number sentence. 8 times 4 equals 32. We write 2 in the 1's column and carry 3 in the 10's place. 8 times 1 equals 8, plus 3 equals 11. We write 1 in the 10's column and carry 1 in the 100's place. 8 times 1 equals 8, plus 1 equals 9. Again, we have to remember that since we are multiplying 114 by 30 and not just 3, we need to write 0 in the 1's column. 3 times 4 equals 12. We write 2 in the 10's column and carry 1 in the 10's place of the multiplicand. 3 times 1 equals 3, plus 1 equals 4. 3 times 1 equals 3. Now, let's add the partial products. 2 plus 0 equals 2. 1 plus 2 equals 3. 9 plus 4 equals 13. We write 3 in the hundreds column and carry 1 in the thousands place. 3 plus 1 equals 4. The product is 4,332 pesos. Lastly, for step 5, write the final answer. Therefore, the total money collected is 4,332 pesos. That was fun! And you did great, kids! Now, let's go back to our two questions earlier. The keywords to remember in multiplication are times, twice, double, groups of, per, each, Equal groups, multiply, and all together. These are the steps in solving word problems. Step 1. Identify the given. Step 2. Identify what is asked. Step 3. Formulate the number sentence. Step 4. Solve the number sentence. And step 5. Write the final answer. You are fantastic! I hope you learned a lot about solving word problems involving money today. If you did, click thumbs up and share this video to help young learners like you to count, solve, and enjoy math. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. And of course, to experience the magical learning at home with Vibal's Happy Homeschool program, check the link in the description box. Again. This is Teacher Jarell and see you on our next number 4 Wednesday.